Hello viewers, today we will talk about idempotency in REST APIs. We will see why we need idempotent REST APIs. So let's first understand some of the use cases why we need idempotency in REST APIs and, and then we will see how we can achieve that idempotency in REST APIs. Okay. So idempotency says that uh, even if you call any APIs multiple time, it will always give you the same result. Okay. So now let's understand that with the help of an example uh, so suppose you are using a e-commerce application or if you are using any banking application then in case of e-commerce application if you are creating an order through some rest api even if you will call that multiple time it should not create multiple orders only one order should be created or if you are doing a transaction in banking application through a mobile app or through web app then uh, even if you hit it multiple times it should not create multiple transactions right so that is uh, the behavior that is expected sometimes due to resiliency uh, which we implement in rest apis if the client is not receive a uh, client doesn't receive acknowledgement then client tries to retry client think that uh, that uh, previous request is cancelled and it tries to do it what it does it try to retry the same transaction so due to that also we need to make sure that our rest apis are adopted in nature now how we can achieve that idempotency in rest apis we can achieve the idempotency in rest apis is by um, having something uh, in the request parameter so that uh, server will understand that this is not the new request this is the older request and we need to return maybe uh, success or if it is error error or if it is a uh, we can return like uh, this order is already created or this transaction already happened something like that that we can do in two three ways one of uh, the way is so in case of e-commerce application for example uh, whenever i am sending uh, a request for creating an order i should always have the order number or order id with it which will be unique so with that order id even if multiple times it will be hit the same order will be uh, created so if it is already uh, so in case of e-commerce application if the order id already exist in the database so first of all whenever the first uh, for the first time whenever the order will be created we will store it on the order id in the database and from the next time whenever the order create order will come with order id same order id then we'll check uh, okay if the that order id already exist in the database then don't create uh, another order for that same user and return success or return message that uh, this order is already placed in case of banking application again if the transaction is already happened on debit or credit uh, in the database we'll check that and if it already happened uh, for the given user for the given time then uh, will not do the transaction again okay so and uh, so one way is to have the order id or the transaction id in the request second is to maintain some cache which will store uh, the transaction which is done by the user will has uh, the request and will compare that has in the cache that uh, if it already exist in the cache then don't uh, do the transaction or don't create the order so we can maintain uh, the order id or the transaction id in the cache as well and so cache is fast to check so we can use uh, cache uh, before making a transaction we'll see that if it already is then don't do that transaction because it already happened so even if user hits it multiple times uh, then also only one time it will be success and for the rest of the time uh, it will return just success it will not create another transaction or another database another record in the database so we have seen that why we need adam potency and what are the three four to four different ways using which you can achieve the adam potency in your rest apis so thank you so much for watching today video and if you think the video is helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel